Some Arabic guy created an outburst here at the Cathedral of the Rockies. Just started yelling and they quickly kicked him out. They actually have to have bouncers here. <clears throat> It'd be interesting to do a ride along with a bicycle patrol. One just went by this church again. But yeah, if you had your own bicycle, you'd just try to keep up with their bicycle patrol. And that's pretty much the ride along. That'd be interesting. I wonder if some people take that challenge. I normally use a sewing needle to pick my teeth. I keep it in my pocket at all times. While I was in jail, I had nothing for a little bit until I came across a staple. Somebody smuggled in a staple, and I was using that to pick my teeth. Okay, this is 8th Street, approaching Bannock. Okay, on Idaho. Approaching Maine. Kind of a partial street here. Looks like Grove Street. Now I'm approaching Front Street. Oh, I'm on 9th? I thought I was on 8th. One of my favorite combinations of food is eating yogurts that's low fat and plain with peanut butter. I'll take a scoop of yogurt and a scoop of peanut butter and then um, I'm adding this applesauce as well with no sugar added. 
Uh, my my uh, gallbladder is really feeling full. It's been feeling full for the past few days. I've been consuming um, uh, the peppermint tea, but that's not doing it. So now I'm turning to malic acid. Maybe I can eliminate. Maybe I can um, break up the stones with it. Uh, also, I think I'll put in a little bit of sesame seed. I got enough into the peanut butter, mix it around, and then uh, makes a good, nice combination breakfast. I usually have to air up my front tire every day, and I failed to today because I don't have the pump in my bag right now. I'm gonna try to bicycle two and a half miles with kind of, kind of a low tire. I'm supposed to meet. I well, I didn't get any confirmation. These these guys from Boise County don't believe in confirming confirming uh, dates and. Um, connections or anything is my impression but uh, last thing I said to him now was uh, I'd be interested in meeting at the McDonald's and holding a hearing now that might be unbecoming of a, of a good hearing I'm not sure but I didn't get any response and this time he suggested is coming up so to be on the safe side as best I go Okay, so this spot is designated as a scenic overlook. How oh, majestic. Parking over here. You can really see close up on them trees. Then homes a little bit. And I'm a little closer on the trail being parked. It's a different story. Maybe you need to walk to the edge of that land to overlook the homes a little bit for the neighbors to give you weird looks. What is that, Mav Max truck and ATV? Huh. Alright, I had about a 20 minute talk with Sergeant Steve DeRoe at the McDonald's. He never gave a confirmation email when I suggested McDonald's, but here he shows up. So he what drove from Idaho City is about an hour drive. I tried to meet him part way by you know choosing a location closest to where he would be entering into Boise. And I greeted when I saw his vehicle pull in because I got there at 9:30. I uh, walked outside and just greeted him, and then we went into the kids' play area. There weren't any kids in there, but I think I was also focused on what I was talking about. I didn't really notice any parents uh, walking in until like after our conversation and then we uh then I saw him I don't know what the parents heard but it wasn't exactly an argument I asked him I asked Steve what uh, what do we do need to do here for this uh this hearing how does it work uh yeah and he said it's pretty informal to present arguments and stuff all right and I needed to establish probable cause and I tried to do that, saying, you know, I, I wasn't uh, driving, my car key wasn't in the ignition and stuff. He only had one question about that. Was I sitting in the driver's seat? Yes, I was. Um, I think that's a big factor in how he's going to decide this. But I made my arguments about uh, the probable cause with that and camping ordinances and um, just... Just loitering in general. Um, it comes down to uh, the the probable cause with me sitting in my car and and uh, you know him and uh, and uh, Josh McIntosh having probable cause to arrest me for for obstruction or something like that. Uh, Darrow might believe that I that I need to produce ID if I'm sitting in my car, even if it's off. Okay, for drunk driving. All right. This is, I guess, that's kind of what the argument is for me. Is uh, it's not drunk driving if the key's not in the ignition. If the key's not, if the car's not running, it's not drunk driving. You know, that's that's part of my problem. I look at it like that. I didn't. There's some argument. I didn't bring that argument up. There's some things I just didn't think to to bring up. Afterward, after those arguments, 
about the legal stuff. I cited them statutes, which a which a really helpful, generous person gave me some statutes to cite about uh, driver's license being required to show if you're if it's a driver driver uh, pull over stop traffic stop. Um, but at the end, I, I then I just made my appeal. I said, hey, you know, I you guys knocked out half my savings. Um, this cost me, you know, this, uh, I really, I really, you know, I, um, I, I pretty much said it cost, it, I'm indigent. I said I'm poor, that's why I qualify for a public defender. Um, and then I said, I, after, at the end too, I recovered my vehicle, because they seemed to think that I, I had, it's, it's still there. And so I, I just said I recovered my vehicle, it cost 360 something, and, uh, yeah, he wrote that down. I wanted him to factor that in, knowing that I, I tried to, I at least got it, all right, so it won't cost a sheriff a lot of money if he was trying to factor in, you know, the cost as as, um, as a possibility for denying me or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm kind of meeting him halfway, I wanted to do that, I, I kind of, I would have liked to have shared the story, I don't know how to bring it out, you know, of how I got there, you know, I started walking, and I almost made it to the Ada County line, where Boise County and Ada County and the sheriff of Ada County uh, stopped me almost at the border at the line and then took me all the way to Horseshoe Bend. Um, that was pretty nice. But I, I walked a long distance and my feet, my ankles, my my knees were sore for three days afterward, okay? Um, I was high on that Kool-Aid from the jail. They had a really sugary Kool-Aid that had a lot of calcium too. But, I mean, I was, I was drinking a lot of that Kool-Aid, and I was pretty energized the whole walk. But I knew that I'd pay for it afterward, and I did. My muscles, and, and I was stiff. I was really walking stiff-legged for a while. So, all right, we'll see what uh, DeRoe has to say. He said he responds within 24 hours. He has to look at similar case law, and then also the statutes. I'm pretty sure he's aware of them. All right, he asked me for the statutes. I'm pretty sure he knew what the statutes were. I, I offered him the statute for tow truck towing. And he's like, well, I've seen it. I'm pretty sure he's seen all the other ones, too. All right, for um, for for being required to show a li driver's license if for a traffic stop and stuff. But uh, he asked for it. I gave it to him. I was able to because of a really generous person on, on, the, on the chat forum, on Craigslist Legal Forum. Really helpful there. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to work. We're just gonna wait and see if, if I establish that there was no probable cause you know that's that sets precedence for the court case okay if this if this sheriff says there's no probable cause you know and I think that he probably is gonna try to go for saying there's probable cause it's 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 pretty rigged it's pretty hot at the uh, flying Jays I haven't seen my uh, homeless couple in a while they seem to like they're maybe getting a little sloppy because I was noticing beer cans laying around that one beer can I was given that one beer I was given I just kind of let it sit right in the right next to this this tree right here um, along next to uh, another empty beer can um, and you know what's strange is there's this Indian guy who was sleeping in that that truck that red truck uh, with the open flat bottom and um, he uh, he just kind of I don't think he lived I don't think that was his car and he it looked like he was drinking alcohol well while I was in jail last weekend I saw him right across the hall from me all right I recognize him pretty good I think the cops might have done some kind of sweep um, over the last weekend or so could have been prompted by the beer cans laying all over because over in the corner uh, at Hardy's they they are leaving beer beer cans as well and in, in a little trash and nobody wants any kind of trash over there and I haven't seen them flying over there the past few days since I've been here maybe they've gone on a trip away from here or maybe they got rounded up by the cops as well I wonder if the cops might want to make an argument for checking IDs, even if you're sitting in your vehicle, that when they uh, tell you to move along, they want to like have known they looked at your ID, the driver's license, to make sure that when you do move along, your driver's license is valid. But I mean, the initial stop, 
they, they don't, I mean, there's, there's no reason they can ask for the, ID, for the uh, picture ID for a driver's license if it's not a traffic stop. But if they want to tell you to keep moving along, they're going to want to know that you're good to drive. That could be part of the confusion.